There are so many farms you can build in your Minecraft world, and there are so many lists out there. The top three starter farms, or the ten must-have survival farms. But what about the farms you don't need? Or at least the farms that I don't need, because we all play this game a little bit differently, and we've got our favourite farms to build in our worlds and some of those farms make other farms redundant. So here's my list of the 10 farms I will never build. And I'm going to rank these in order from the completely obvious to the somewhat controversial. So starting with number 10, the Silverfish XP Farm. And for this video, I'm actually going to be building these farms to show you, but for the Silverfish XP farm, uh, I, I don't even know where to start. Who, who builds this? So let's move straight on to number nine, the pig farm. I mean, sure, this is easy to build and you can get your pork chops, but why are you eating pork chops? Seriously, guys, have a steak, have a golden carrot. I mean, come on. No, we don't need pigs. Number eight, the zombie XP farm. This could theoretically be pretty useful early game for a little bit of XP, but my world is years old now and I've got absolutely no use for this. That's not to say though that zombie spawners are completely useless. They're pretty good if you want to play a game of Pac-Man. And number seven is the melon farm. Now I have built these in the past and that's why I know I'll never build them again. All they do is fill up my chests with melon slices and I use them for trading with villagers, but I can't be bothered crafting all these melons. I'd rather just have extra pumpkins and extra villagers and just trade those instead. And number six, the chicken farm. So this ranks a little bit higher than the pig farm because it's completely hands off. You set this up and you leave it alone and it just produces chicken for you. So it's better that way, but once again, the food source is pretty horrible. Just eat a steak. Number five, the ghast farm. So ghasts do have some useful drops. They'll drop gunpowder and ghast tears. So the gunpowder is helpful, but... I have a witch farm. If I didn't have a witch farm, I'd probably build a creeper farm. I'm not about to spend ages building a ghast farm just for gunpowder. There are easier options. And the ghast here, you can make a potion of regeneration. But golden apples are better because they'll saturate your hunger at the same time. So yeah, ghast farms get necks from me. And number four, the wool farm. Now I'm not talking about the early game, little paddock of sheep for getting that little bit of wool. That's fine. I'm talking about the coloured wool farms that automatically shear your sheep. I have absolutely no use for this in my world because I have spider spawners coming out my ears. And I've got so many double chests of wool from crafting all that string that I'm never going to use them, and if I ever want coloured wool, well, I have flower farms as well, so I can just combine those, and I've got all the coloured wool I want on demand. Number three, the Hoglan farm. Are we getting controversial yet? So don't get me wrong, the Hoglan farm is a pretty good farm. You just go AFK and you get so many resources, but what do you get? You get pork chops, which I, I refuse to eat. I've got better sources of food. I've got golden carrots. But you do get a lot of leather, which unfortunately I already get from my piglin trading. So I've got absolutely no use for this farm. Number two, the hostile mob farm. And don't get me wrong, this is a pretty good farm and you get some excellent drops from it but I've already made it redundant in my world. So I don't need the string, as we've already discussed, and I don't need the bones from the skeletons, because I've got spawners rigged up in my world, and I've got a pretty fast bone meal farm that can produce the bone meal much faster than I can get it from the hostile mob farm. 
So that leaves gunpowder and zombie flesh. Well, you can throw the zombie flesh away. And I've already got a witch farm. Yes, there's a there's a witch farm inside of that. And even if I didn't have a witch farm, I'd probably build a creeper farm before attempting a hostile mob farm. So the number one farm that I will never build, the Enderman farm. And I'm curious to see how many people will agree with me here or if I'll get shouted down in the comments. But I have no use for this farm. So it is excellent for XP. And early game, if someone builds it, I'll certainly go and use it. But I'm not going to do it myself because I've got other sources of XP. My number one source, I like to do villager trading. If I'm not doing that, I've got a blaze farm. I've got skeleton XP farms. I really can't be bothered making an enderman farm just for XP. And let's face it, once your world is a few years old, you don't need the XP that often just to repair your tools. And for that, you don't need something as powerful as an Enderman farm. And since the introduction of Elytra and rockets, I rarely use Ender Pearls anymore. I might construct a few Ender Chests. And for that, my Piglin Trading Hall provides all the Ender Pearls I could ever use. So that's it. That's my list of 10 farms I'll never build. Did you agree with me? Do you think I'm absolutely crazy? And did I leave out another useless farm? So thanks for watching, guys. I'm Cortezarino, and I'll see you later.